The Calgary Flames have had an eventful couple of weeks, with high expectations for the offseason to bring significant changes to the franchise. General Manager Craig Conroy kicked things off by trading Tyler DeFoley to the New Jersey Devils just before the NHL draft in Nashville. While the return for DeFoley received a mixed reception, it sparked excitement for additional trades. However, since then, no major developments have taken place. The Flames possess valuable players entering the final year of their contracts, such as Noah Hannafin, who could attract interest from numerous teams. Yet, Conroy has encountered challenges in finding suitable trade opportunities. The offseason was initially anticipated to be a transformative period, dubbed the Summer of Craig, marked by substantial trades and the establishment of a new foundation. Regrettably, things have not unfolded as expected. Hannafin, a highly regarded top four defenseman across the league, garners interest from both Stanley Cup contenders and other teams. His defensive prowess and smooth skating ability have significantly improved over time. Moving contracts has proven difficult in trades, as exemplified by situations involving players like Alex Dabrinkit. The league-wide tight salary cap constraints have made it challenging to facilitate deals. Even Chris Johnston mentioned in his podcast that teams requested the Winnipeg Jets to retain money in a potential Connor Hellebuck trade, highlighting the financial limitations plaguing the NHL. Hannafin possesses a team-friendly contract, making him an attractive asset, especially with an impending raise. However, the Flames have struggled to find trades that align with their preferences, despite Hannafin indicating his probable departure from the team in the long term. This predicament underscores the challenges of generating a market for a player amidst the scarcity of salary cap space. It further reflects the Flames' recent streak of unfortunate luck, entering the offseason with notable players like Hannafin, Elias Lindholm, and Michael Backlund, who possess significant contracts but are valuable assets on team-friendly deals. Consequently, it appears likely that the Flames will enter the upcoming season with many of these players still on their roster. This raises questions about their long-term commitment and the potential for future contract negotiations. Craig Conroy, in the early months of his tenure as general manager, faces yet another intriguing challenge. It is worth noting that the Flames' top center, Elias Lindholm, still holds the possibility of re-signing with Calgary. Although the organization remains optimistic, Lindholm's lack of a definitive answer raises concerns, particularly considering the team's reluctance to undergo a full rebuild. Conroy emphasized that he had learned from the Johnny Gaudreau situation and was determined not to repeat history. However, heading into the season with Lindholm without a new contract presents a significant risk. The Flames aspire to compete for the playoffs next season, making it crucial to secure their top center. Allowing Lindholm's situation to mirror Gaudreau's from the previous season could prove distracting and detrimental. The Flames are actively engaged in ongoing communication with Lindholm's camp expressing their desire to reach a long-term deal. However, the absence of a definitive response from Lindholm heightens concerns. While hope persists in Calgary, prolonged uncertainty becomes increasingly worrisome for Flames fans. Similarities to the Gaudreau situation, which ultimately resulted in his departure without compensation, are beginning to emerge. Conroy emphasized the importance of effective asset management, yet the Flames seem to be walking a similar path potentially heading into training camp with Lindholm on the team without a contract. Thankfully, there is still time before training camp commences in mid-September, providing an opportunity for the Flames and Lindholm to find a resolution. If Lindholm refuses to sign a contract extension, Conroy will face a critical decision. He may opt to trade Lindholm before the season, accepting the best available offer, or retain him and explore trade possibilities closer to the deadline. This dilemma also applies to Hannafin and Backlund. What moves will Conroy make this summer? Comment down below. Thank you for your support, and remember to like and subscribe for future content. See you in the next video.